Do you want to learn how to make your very own games in Roblox? If so, then you're going to need to learn how to script, and that's what I'm here for, and you're in the perfect place. In this series, I'm going to be starting back my beginner scripting series, and this is going to be uh, available and up to date for as many years as it as possible. So if you're watching this in 2024 or in 2030, this should be perfectly fine. I hope you guys are excited to learn. Let's just go ahead and jump right in. And just a super fast announcement, at the end of this series, the final part will be us making a game. If you stick with it, at the very end of the series, we will be taking everything we learn and turning it into a Roblox game. So I hope you're stoked about that. Now let's get started. Alright, so, first thing is to download Roblox Studio. If you don't know how to do that, I'll have a video linked down in the description. Go do that first. Uh, but once you've downloaded Roblox Studio and opened up a brand new game, uh, then you can go ahead and start here. So, first of all, what is scripting? Let's just start out with the very, very basic. Scripting is basically coding. Uh, it's telling the computer what to do. Um, if, if the computer doesn't know what to do, you're not going to have a functioning game. So that's why you need to know how to script, because you're telling the computer, this is what my game does. Um, it's, it's like talking to the computer so that your game can actually be built. Alright, so um, let's go ahead and get started with, with um, learning how to script. The first thing you need to know is what a script object is. Um, and to do that, we're going to have to look at some of these windows. So, I'm going to assume you have Explorer and Properties open, but if not, I'm going to show you how to open those right now. Uh, there should be a button at the top of your screen called View. If you go ahead and click that um, and click Explorer and Properties, both of these windows to your right should appear, the Explorer and the Properties, okay? And these, um, these windows are going to be where you're, um, where you're telling the computer what your game is. Um, let's just quickly go over these. The workspace, um, this is everything inside of your game. Everything that the players can see is inside of this folder called the workspace, okay? Um, if you want to see what's inside the workspace, you can click this little triangle and that'll expand it and you can see everything inside of your workplace. Or workspace, sorry. Next is players. This is going to hold all the players in your game. So every time a player joins the game, a new player will be added to this players thing. And whenever a player leaves, a player will be removed. Okay. Lighting we're not going to touch on for this series, um, but it is something important for later on in your development journey. Same with material service, replicated first. Replicated storage we are going to touch on though. Um, we're going to use this a lot when it comes to remote events, um, but for now just remember this is a place to store different things for your game. It's like a storage container. Next is server script service. We're going to be doing so much of what we do in here. Uh, this is the place where I like to hold all of my regular scripts, um, unless there's a reason that I, I don't want to do that, and we'll get into that later in the series. Um, but for so many of your scripts, you're going to want to put them inside of server script service, because that's where um, a lot of them are going to be held and run most efficiently. Um, start a GUI and everything else we'll get into later in the series. Okay, but let's actually get started on why you're here, scripting. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, hover over the server script service. Remember I said that's where most of our scripts are going to be. And we're going to uh, click this plus button right here. And then you can type in script. And you want to click this one, not local script or module script. You want to click script. So once you click that, you should have a script inserted into server script service. I'm going to go ahead and name the script, and the way you can do that is either by going down to the properties down here and changing the name from script to something, uh, or you can just click the name of the script object, okay? I'm going to call this print script, so that gives it a, a new name. Uh, that just keeps everything organized for us. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and uh, keep going with the base basics. Um, if you want to switch between your game and your script, you use these tabs up here. As you can see, this is called print script, so right now we're inside of this script, um, the one that we just created. But if we switch back over to the base plate, now you can see we're back in the game view. Um, so let's go ahead and pr uh, click the print script, and uh, you're going to notice something right away. You're going to notice that your script says print hello world. That is coming. Uh, that comes by default with all the scripts whenever you create a script. And let's go ahead and see what that does. So if we go ahead and click view again, make sure that this button right here is selected. The output, uh, you'll know it's selected when you see this big, big rectangle at the bottom of your screen. Uh, and it says output up here. Okay. So if we go ahead and hit play, uh, 
and I'm going to go ahead and drag up the output so you can see it, uh, you can see the output says hello world. Uh, you may need to scroll up a little bit to see that, but yeah, the output has printed hello world. That is what printing does. It sends messages to the output. Um, and obviously there are tons of different ways to use this, uh, and we'll be getting into that throughout the series. Um, but what I want to show you now is how you can change that to print whatever you want. Um, what you're going to do is you're just going to replace the hello world with whatever text you want. Make sure you have the quotation marks though. Do not get rid of those. Um, and we can just say subscribe to CodeBro29. There you go. Now let's go ahead and close out of this and click play. And if we look in the output, it should say, yep, subscribe to CodeBro29. There you go. So uh, there, that is how you print. Um, but now let's get a little more exciting. Let's see what kinds of different things we can print. And that's going to have a discussion about, uh, start a discussion about data types. Um, I'm going to go ahead and remove this print, uh, print function. So you can just highlight all of it and click backspace. That's how you delete things in your code. Um, Let's go ahead and get into data types. So there are three data types I'm going to teach you guys right now. Those are strings, integers, and booleans. Um, strings are what we had for the print statement. We had hello world. And strings are text, right? Um, they're something like, like words or letters, okay? Um, a string is just anything that is within quotation marks, okay? Uh, hello, hello, hello. This is an example of a string because it's different letters inside of quotation marks. Okay, I'm going to delete that. The next thing is integers, and those are numbers. Any number is an integer. So 200 is an integer. 5,000 or 400,000, that's an integer. Um, they are not this, these two are not the same thing, though. Let me go ahead and show you right now. 100 and 100. These two right here are not the same thing. And you may be wondering, okay, why? Well, that's because one of these is a string and one is an integer. These are different data types. You can see this one uh, 100, it has quotation marks. It's inside of quotation marks. That means it's a string. Um, and the computer will see that as a string. If you don't have quotation marks, then uh, you will have an integer, um, like this right here. And the computer will recognize that as a number. Okay. Uh, the last one is Boolean, and that's true or false, okay? Um, and that's how you write it. You literally just type out true or false, and the, uh, these are Booleans, um, and uh, these do not need quotation marks because that's a completely different thing. These are not strings. These are a different kind of data type. So it's going to take some practice to get used to, but uh, just really quick, just a little quiz for yourself. I'm going to type in a new print statement, um, and I want you to think to yourself, is this a string, integer, or a Boolean? You got three, two, one, this is a string because there are quotation marks, um, and we have a, a, a message inside of those quotation marks. Let's do another one. Print 200. Is that a string, boolean, or integer? Three, two, one. This is an integer because there it's a number value with no quotation marks. Okay, uh, let's do another one. This right here. Is this a string, boolean, or integer? Three, two, one. This is actually a string, and this might be a little tricky, uh, but remember I said Booleans are either true or false without quotation marks. If you write false with quotation marks, that's a string. And finally, is this a string, Boolean, or integer? Three, two, one. This is a Boolean. True or false is a Boolean. So those are the different data types uh, that we can print and use in our game. Uh, there are other ones, but those are the basic ones for the beginner scripting series. Um, but let's go ahead and actually do something kind of fun with this. Um, did you know that computers can do math perfectly? I mean, you probably do. You probably have a calculator. But let's go ahead and try that. Let's go ahead and print 2 plus 2 like that, okay? Not strings, too, okay? Because um, this is a math operator. We're saying plus, right? There's a there's a plus symbol right here. We're telling the computer add two and two, but if we had a string of two, the computer doesn't know how to add two different strings, okay? So let's go ahead and print that, and in the output, we should see four. Yep, four has been printed to the output. Perfect. All right, um, let's go ahead and check this again. Now um, we can do other things too. We can do subtract, so 2 minus 2, and that would print 0. You can test it out for yourself if you'd like, but I'm going to quickly go over the rest. Uh, the asterisk, the little star right here, that's um, when you hold shift and press 8. That's multiplication, so that would be like the same thing as saying 2 times 2. Okay, uh, So this should print 4. And lastly, 2 over 2, this is division. So 2 divided by 2, and if you play that, it would, um, it would 
print four. Or, I mean, sorry, <laughs> at print one, uh, I can do basic math. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> okay, so that is printing, and those are the different data types. Um, make sure to be practicing this uh, while you're waiting for the next episode to come out, or if the next one's out, you can go ahead and move on to that one. Uh, but make sure to practice these printing and these data types. Um, and actually, we, before you leave, though, one more thing I want to show you. There are a couple different ways you can play your game to test it out. You can either click play like we've been doing, or you can click this little triangle under the play, and you can choose one of these. Play is what we have been doing, uh, and that spawns your character into your game. But if you click play here, uh, that will spawn your character into your game, but wherever your camera was. So um, as you can see, I was my camera was right here when I clicked that, and so my character has spawned in right there instead of on top of the spawn. And finally, you can um, click run right here. And this will run all the scripts so uh, all your printing would work and everything like that. It just wouldn't spawn in your character. Okay, that's uh, that's about it. Um, I thank you guys for uh, for watching this video. Um, at the time of recording, uh, thank you so much to Samuel Ramsey for being a, a Patreon or supporting me on Patreon. If you want to get shout outs or have access to the uh, source code for these videos, you can just download the code. Make sure to go check out my Patreon page. Um, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and if episode two is out, it'll be up on the screen right now. If not, make sure you're subscribed for that. Hope you're excited to learn more about scripting. And I know I'm excited to teach you. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.